Hi everyone, Rad Drew here. Happy New Year. It's been a while since I've uh, been engaged with the uh, with our group uh, on infrared photography, but I'm I'm back in the groove and looking forward to um, getting more um, engaged in the in the coming year. What I wanted to share with you today is something that I've learned in the past couple of months um, about how to attach our, our infrared filters to our mobile phone. Um, for those of you who've been at this for a while, you know, we've tried lots of different things over the years. We've used uh, Moment uh, adapters. We've used a Moondog filter adapter and all these different things. And many of those work fine. And if you have a phone and a system that's working for you, uh, you're, you're good to go. You don't really need to, to make any changes there. But if you have a new phone or if you're struggling with... Um, those other methods working well for you. I have two methods that I want to show you today um, that I really like in terms of their how secure they are and how well they work with a variety of phones. So the first one that I want to talk about is this one right here. This is the um, uh, 67 millimeter uh, mobile phone filter mount from Moment. And you can kind of see what it looks like here. There's some padding in here that keeps light leaks out. Um, it's 67 millimeters across. And you can see on the back here, there's a little thumb screw. Um, and the way it works, you're simply going to take your phone. This one's my iPhone 14 Pro Max, but it, has, it works with earlier phones as well. I've tried it on everything down to the 10, and I'm sure it would even work on earlier models. But what you're going to do is just position this piece so that it fits around the lenses on your phone and then hold it in place while you screw it down. Now, you notice I slid mine in from the side, but you can also um, slide it in uh, from so that it's on the top. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down. So now we have the, um, the mount on there, it's very secure. One thing I will point out, notice how the this piece is on our phone if i go to my oh i don't know let's go to my camera roll here um let's say i'm trying to photograph with this tool and um i i can't get to my buttons up here so that is one of the drawbacks with this particular um type of connector it it blocks your screen from making uh selections with your finger um so you may have to set some things up and then put this on uh, to use your camera. But otherwise, if we turn it back over, it you can see it's really secure and it takes this 67 millimeter filter. Mine's all full of smudges. Um, and I'm just going to screw it in to the uh, to the filter mount. And come on. And there it goes. And it's on there very securely. Now, many of you, I know I did, started using the 52 millimeter filter. And well, let me just say one more thing about this. One of the nice things about the 67 millimeter width here uh, is that it really gives a lot of room to our lenses and I don't get any issues with vignetting. Uh, I know some of the uh, earlier uh, mechanisms that we used or systems that we used uh, kind of led to some vignetting on certain images, but this, this, doesn't, um, uh, this doesn't do that because it's so big. Now, many of you have the earlier 52 millimeter lens, uh, filter and it's perfectly fine. You don't wanna have to buy another one. Well, you can get a step down ring. This is a 67 millimeter to 50, 52 millimeter step down ring. So I'm gonna take it the 67 millimeter threads and screw those right into that adapter. And then I can take my 52 millimeter infrared filter and screw that right in and now I have a very secure method um, for using either the 67 or the 52 millimeter. What I like about this again is that it works on most phones, but it also works with most cases. This is a silicone case, which I prefer, and it works great with that. But you can use this over moment cases and other cases that I've played with, um, and, it, and it really works great. Uh, again, the only little thing about it that I find a little bit cumbersome is that you can't always access the buttons that are behind uh, that are behind this part right here. So that's that's one method. So let me go ahead and take this off. And so that's that's one method. Moment filter mount, 67 millimeter uh, iPhone mount, and then a 67 millimeter um, uh, infrared filter or 
a step down ring in the 52. Let me set those out of the way for now. And I want to show you this other, other gizmo. This is a snap on filter mount. And this also comes from Moment. And it's designed or intended to work with a Moment case and a little piece that fits into your uh, Moment case with your phone. Now, what I've discovered is you don't need to use it that way. You can, if you like the Moment cases, go for it. I prefer the silicone case because I like the grip that I get with it. It's not slippery and so on. And what I've discovered is that this clip on, if you have the, it, it's only with the 14 Pro Max. I haven't been able to determine that this works with other size phones, but the 14 Pro Max, this part right here is precisely the right size to allow this to snap on. So I'm simply going to lay this over the top. I'm going to have this little piece here um, at, at the base of it, at the bottom, that little indentation. And I'm just going to put that on and press it down. Did you hear it snap? And it's on there. It's snapped right on there. Now you can see it's very wide around the lenses. You have lots of room and you can take your 67 millimeter infrared filter and screw it right on and you're good to go. And you can go ahead and use this for, um, your infrared photography and when you're done you just pull it off and put that in your bag and you're ready to continue photographing in other method with other you know ways without infrared the one thing i have learned is that um you really can't use a step down ring with this and i'll show you why so if you have the earlier infrared filter that's smaller this method isn't going to work so well with your step down ring. So I'm taking the step down ring off here. So here's our step down ring, and I'm going to put that on the clip on filter mount. So there it is. Notice though, when, when we look through here from the back, now oh, it's kind of hard to see. If I clip this on, see if I can do that. I'll clip it on. And let's just look at this. You can see that these edges right here and a little bit up here interfere with the lens. So I haven't been able to get good results with the step down ring and the 52 millimeter filter um, because it interferes with the with the lenses and gives us some unwanted vignetting. So I just wanted to you know share that. I think the best way for this method is to not use the step down ring and simply use the 67 millimeter size infrared filter. And that's it. I mean, this is just a really neat way to do it. It's more secure than some of the things we were doing before. Um, and it's um, uh, hopefully more cost effective in that hopefully this tool, uh, this clip on tool anyway, the, the earlier one will allow us to use it with future phones. So there you go, two methods that I've found really useful for attaching our infrared filters to the mobile phones. Um, and uh, I'll include links to these different resources um, in the, uh, wherever I post this. And uh, hopefully uh, you'll find it uh, helpful. So thanks again for participating. I hope uh, you're having fun with infrared and other kinds of photography. And uh, I look forward to uh, enjoying an, a great 2023 with all of you. So uh, thank you very much. And until next time, keep on creating.